Hi there. Now for part B of this question, we had to find the tension in the cable of the lift. And it turns out that that answer is 2040 newtons to three significant figures. So in the previous part, part A, we marked in all these forces acting on the lift. And so it's very easy just to find out this tension by resolving in the direction of motion because we now know at the acceleration a from part a it was 1.2 meters per second per second so all we need to do then is resolve downwards in the direction of motion and that turns out to be 255 g 255 g then minus the tension minus t minus the resistance which was 150 that's the resultant force on the lift and this is equal to the mass which we now know is 200 plus the mass of the crate so that's 255 kilograms and it's got an acceleration of 1.2 okay so if you rearrange this for t you should find that you end up with t equaling 2043 and if you round that, as I say, to three significant figures, it's 2,040 newtons then. Okay, so hope that's given you some idea if that caused any problems.